When something is important enough, you do it even if the odds are not in your favor. I think it is possible for ordinary people to choose to be extraordinary. Failure is an option here. If things are not failing, you are not innovating enough. When you struggle with a problem, that's when you understand it. Engineering is the closest thing to magic that exists in the world. Many things are improbable, only a few are impossible. Some people don't like change, but you need to embrace change if the alternative is disaster. I would like to die on Mars, just not on impact. For me it was never about money, but solving problems for the future of humanity. I could either watch it happen or be a part of it. People should pursue what they're passionate about. That will make them happier than pretty much anything else. Life is too short for long-term grudges. Persistence is very important. You should not give up unless you are forced to give up. Work like hell. I mean you just have to put in 80 to 100 hour weeks every week. This improves the odds of success. If other people are putting in 40 hour work weeks and you're putting in 100 hour work weeks, then even if you're doing the same thing you know that you will achieve in 4 months what it takes them a year to achieve. What I'm trying to do is to maximize the probability of the future being better. Constantly seek criticism. A well-thought-out critique of what you're doing is as valuable as gold. Most people can learn a lot more than they think they can. They sell themselves short without trying. With artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. I think that's the single best piece of advice. Constantly think about how you could be doing things better and questioning yourself. The biggest mistake, in general, I've made is to put too much of a waiting on someone's talent and not enough on their personality. And I've made that mistake several times. I think it actually matters whether somebody has a good heart. It really does. I've made the mistake of thinking that it's sometimes just about the brain. If you get up in the morning and think the future is going to be better, it is a bright day. Otherwise, it's not. My motivation for all my companies has been to be involved in something that I thought would have a significant impact on the world. You want to have a future where you're expecting things to be better, not one where you're expecting things to be worse. When I was in college, I wanted to be involved in things that would change the world. If something's important enough, you should try. Even if you the probable outcome is failure. Great companies are built on great products. Patience is a virtue, and I'm learning patience. It's a tough lesson. Optimism, pessimism. We're going to make it happen. As God is my bloody witness, I'm hell-bent on making it work.